hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can get lineage os 22 which is android 15 on the samsung galaxy m52 5g so yeah let's get started so yeah head over to the links in the description down below and you will be redirected to this page and the only downside in this rom is there is no voice over lte support or volte for short uh, so yeah, Samsung has somehow made the custom ROMs not work with uh, voice over LTE or VoLTE. So yeah, that is the only downside in this ROM. So yeah, once you come to this page, scroll down, expand Samsung. And again, this ROM is available for many other devices. But this video is focused on M52. So I'm gonna choose M52 and then download the latest build over here. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it. Next up is the G apps or Google apps. Again, when you come to this page, select mobile and then you should choose lineage os 22.1 which is android 15 and then you need to download the arm 64 variant of it you will be taken to the github page and then you need to click on this here and the download will start i have already downloaded everything so i'm not gonna download it now once you've done that you can exit out of your browser and now you can copy the two files to your phone's sd card so i'm gonna connect my phone and looks like I need to unlock the phone for it to give the permission alright I'm just gonna copy it to my phone's SD card I'm gonna create a new folder called lineageOS LOS for short and I'm just gonna drag and drop them into the folder now we just need to wait until the copying finishes and one more thing guys you need to make sure your phone's bootloader is unlocked and you have twrp recovery installed or any of your preferred recovery and keep in mind all the data of your phone will be erased so make sure to create a backup if the data is important Alright, so once the copying is finished, we can head over to the phone. So now what we need to do is reboot the phone into the recovery mode and then install the ROM there. So yeah, let's head over to our phone. So yeah, let's reboot the phone into the recovery mode. So on these newer Samsung phones, you need to keep the uh, phone connected to your PC to reboot into recovery mode. So I've connected it to my PC. I'm gonna press and hold volume down and power button so that the phone you know force which is off and after the phone turns off immediately switch your finger to the volume up button and the power button and that will take us to the recovery mode Alright, once you're in the recovery mode, you can disconnect the cable. Alright, so first up, what you need to do is you need to select wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik ERT cache, cache, metadata, data, internal storage, select these boxes and then swipe to wipe. Once it's done, select back. Go back to the TWRP home screen. Oh yeah, we missed a step. Head over to wipe again. Format data. Type in the word yes. Hit the tick mark. And once that is done as well, you can go back to the TWRP home screen. Select reboot. Select recovery again. And again, we have to wait for the phone to boot back into the recovery mode. Press the power button here. Alright, so uh, once that is done, let me reduce the brightness. Okay, so once that's done, select install and then browse to where you have stored the Lineage zip file and the Google Apps zip file. Mine is stored on the SD card inside the LOS folder. Now what you need to do is first select Lineage 22.1 zip file and then select add more zips over here. So I'm going to select add more zips and then select the mind the gapps zip file. So I'm going to select that and then swipe to confirm the flash. Now again you have to play the waiting game. 
we have to wait until the flashing process finishes. Once that is done, you have to go back to the TWRP home screen again, select reboot, select recovery and then again wait for the phone to reboot back into the recovery mode, hit the power button over here. And now what you need to do is select wipe. Oh yeah, the touch does not work in, uh, after you install Lineage OS. Alright, fine. Let's just download the Lineage OS recovery image. Alright, now that's no big deal. Just head over to the Lineage OS website again, find our device, M52, and then download only the recovery image, which I have already downloaded it. And then you need to archive it in the form of tar. So just right click. 7 zip and add to archive and then choose star in this archive format list once that is done you can boot your phone into the download mode by holding volume up and down button and then connecting the usb cable to your computer and the phone will boot into the download mode and if you see a warning just hit the volume up button and the download mode will start now we can head over to odin i use patched odin all the links will be in the description so you, you guys don't worry open up odin select the ap partition and then browse to where you have stored the lineage os recovery dot tar file and then hit start now as soon as you hit start if you see the reset word in this box you need to immediately start holding the volume up button and the power button on your phone so yeah let's do that and once you have done everything correctly it should look something like this and now here what we need to do, uh, wait let me just reduce the brightness a little bit. You can't change the brightness in Lineage OS recovery. So, uh, this is the best I can do. Alright so use the volume buttons to nav navigate and the power button to select. So I'm gonna go factory reset, hit the power button, format data, factory reset, format data. Once that is done, select the volume down button again, hit the power button highlight yes hit the power button again and then don't you know just go and format the system partition because the system partition is the main thing which we need for our phone to run so yeah just don't uh, you know go ahead and uh, format the system partition next we can go back and just reboot system now highlight it and then select the power button press the power button and then the phone will reboot into the lineage of operating system now the first boot will take uh, sometimes so be patient and looks like the lineage is, is booted that was very fast all right let me just set up the phone real quick it line edges android 15 let me just reduce the brightness a little bit i think you guys can see it now so yeah here it is android 15 let's go to the settings and check it's the about phone oh here it is and android version 15 line edges version 22 so yeah we have android 15 on our phone and yeah as i told you the only downside is there is no voice over lte or volte support in this rom this uh, also applies to the android 14 rom of lineage os so yeah there's uh, no workaround for that yet so yeah that is it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video